Hello friends, welcome to our channel Electrical Decodes. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to calculate the electrical LV room size as per the SIVA regulation. Uh, usually for the SIVA, DIVA and any other authority in the UAE or basic concept only we are going to discuss in this video. So it can be applicable, sorry, it will be applicable for all the authorities. It's a DIVA, IDDC or anything else. It can, it's a basic thing we are going to discuss in this video. So watch carefully, it will be it may be help you for the interview also. So first thing before going to calculate the LV room size, first you have to understand what is the LV room. LV room is the main electrical room in your building or a project which is getting power from directly from, it's getting directly, sorry, power from the substation. What is substation? I already put one video before. If you want, you can check that uh, video you will understand what is the substation and transformer room how its size will be calculated here the main electrical room in your building which is directly getting the power from the substation so transformer it's called lv room the lv room consists of lv panel capacitor bank ats panels smdb service dbs etc so what is mean by this lv panel capacitor bank and ats panel this we will discuss in an, on another video then you will get to understand more deep about the LV room detail. It's called LV room details. Now we are going to calculate the size of the LV room only. So now we are just, we have to understand what are the things we have in the LV rooms. So these five, six things we have in the LV rooms. After that, we will go for the design. The first thing in the design of LV room is the size of the room. So how the size will vary. We have two options only. First thing is the quality, sorry, quantity of the LV panel. If more than one LV panel we have in the LV rooms, the size of the LV room will increase obviously because of the LV panels numbers is increasing, the size also will increase. So next thing, if you have only one panel, in this case, the size of the LV panel is mainly depending upon the incoming circuit breaker of the LV panel. If you have a 2500 ampere ACB circuit breaker as your LV panel, incoming circuit breaker in your LV panel, the size will be for example, it's a X into X. In case of if you have a 1000 ampere ACB in your LV panel as an incomer, the size will be Y into Y. So the size will be changes according to the incoming circuit breaker of the LV panel. First thing, it's a major thing when you are going to design the LV room. Another thing, the next uh, next point will location of the LV room must be available next to the substation that is called a transformer room. Okay, why? Why we have to uh, make next to the substation? Because see, this is a transformer room and this is LV room. We put next to back to back. So I mentioned here back to back. Why we put back to back? This transformer we feeding this LV panel. And this cable we cannot run more distance because of the uh, sorry we cannot more run more because of the first thing cost and second thing we cannot run uh, this uh, high voltage cable for long distance and uh, <coughs> that's why we are almost we will try to fix we try to locate this LV room back side of the transformer or any other side of the transformer it will be cost wise also economical and its operation also very simple. Another thing, main door size should be sufficient to take the switch gear panels. Okay, you design this LV room. This main door size you have to consider when you are designing the LV panels. This is your door. Okay, I already told you in the previous uh, previous this we have a LV panel, capacitor bank, ATS panels, SMDBs, and service DB. So many things. The LV panel and capacitor bank is a normal, it's not a normal thing. So you have to provide a door which is, it can be accommodated, it, it can be taken into the LV room, these panels. If the panel should become, get into the L, LV rooms. So you have to think when you are making the LV, LV room designing, the door size should be as much as big. The third point will be the room should be ventilated properly. So for this, what we will do, we will normally we will fix one AC or we will fix one separate FCU for this ventilation purpose. So that this point will be covered. But the ventilated 
this ventilation we have to consider in the in our uh, design the next point will be lv room shall not be located near the source of water okay what is mean by the source of water we have to check the things uh, water with where with sorry the point or anything which give uh, water is called source of water usually in the building where we will get the water either it will be for toilets or laundry or kitchen or water tank water sink whatever it is the lv room should not be located near the source of water means the lv room we cannot design the lv room which is near to the laundry which is near to the toilet which is near to the kitchen which is near to the water tank we cannot design so it is it should be far away from the water source of water the third point will be emergency lights emergency lights shall be provided at least for 3 hours battery backup we have to provide one emergency light inside the lv room that emergency light should have inbuilt battery for 3 hour backup so in any emergency situation came this light will glow up to the 3 hours from the disconnection of the power so next if the room size is more than 6 meter length must be provide two numbers of door for easy access okay why 6 meter length is coming i will tell you the next TV, next slide so in this slide in this point you have to understand that see if the room size is more than 6 meter length you must be provide two numbers of door for the easy access at the last one the use of lv room as a storage room will not be acceptable how we can is it possible to use a lv room as a storage room it's 100% not even it is electrical accessory electrical things electrical wire cable anything is there you cannot put as a store you cannot use a, this lv room as a store for the even electrical items so you cannot put any other items in the electrical room for the storage purpose so next slide we are going to see about the lv room size as per the main breaker so this is applicable for the one lv panel if you have one lv panel in your uh, lv room the first column you will find the main circuit breaker rating and second one is the lv voltage sorry low voltage switch room dimensions in case of if you have a 1600 to 2500 ampere acp so more than 800 ampere it should be acp so in this case you will have the minimum what i am saying here is not the final one minimum one. minimum you have to be allocate 4.5 meter into 4 meter room size for 1600 to 2500 in case your uh, lv panel incomer rating is 1000 to 1200 ampere acp is there in between this range it is coming then you should allocate 4.5 meter into 3.5 meter for your room size it's a minimum size depends upon your capacitor bank depends upon your uh, ats panel depends upon your, your other smdb which you are going to locate in your lv room this done that the size of the room will change so it, but if you have a 1000 or 1200 ampere acp in your lv panel as a incomer you should provide you should design at least 4.5 into 3.5 meter dimension for lv so next if you have a 800 ampere 4.5 meter into 300 and 300 sorry 3 meter and if you have a 400 to 500 ampere 3 meter into 2 meter and this things 200 to 300 and 100 to 160 60 to 80 ampere these are coming in small electrical room which you are we will find in the all the typical floors mostly this one 2 meter into 2 meter 1.5 meter into 1.5 meter if it is 1000 sorry 160 ampere means this all based on the mccb this income are all mccb if it is 800 or more than 800 will be acb this this thing it's a extra thing but you have to consider this also in the single line diagram if you are making the single line diagram for this you have to put these things also so i hope you will find the uh, good information about the lv room sizing and calculations and uh, hope you will understand the things and uh, please subscribe our channel for the more videos stay tuned thank you